What is up guys? I'm in the new car. Today's the day. I'm going to show it to you. So, I sold the Passat on Tuesday, yesterday. Yeah, I'm filming this Wednesday. So, yeah, I sold it yesterday on Tuesday. And I picked up the new car, which is a 2016 Kia Optima SX Turbo. So, here it is. This car is obviously a 2016, like I just said. It has 37,000 miles on it, so it is, you know, used. But, it's all black leather interior with red stitching. It is the SX Turbo, which is the highest trim of the Optima that you can get. It does have paddle shifters. This car has the technology package. So, you know, we have all the goodies in here, Bluetooth, whatever, heated and cooled seats. Um, Harman Kardon sound system, which is amazing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it has lane departure warning and, you know, traffic proximity alerts. So, yeah, it's got just a full black leather interior. Um, I wanted the SX Turbo just because I drove a, a Kia Optima in Florida on my Miami trip. And I actually really liked it. And that was the LX, which is like the most basic one. And those aren't that impressive. They don't even have... Um, push to start like this one does but I, regardless I liked it and then um, I looked at you know obviously I test drove this car before I bought it and um, this car does have a turbo it is a two liter four cylinder turbo engine with 250 horse front wheel drive which coming from my previous car is over twice the horsepower so it's not fast but for me it's a lot faster and obviously I've driven faster cars before. But uh, yeah, I wanted something that was a little bit more peppier than what I had, which <laughs> is not hard to do, because <laughs> my car was slow as hell. But regardless, uh, yeah. So it is a 2016 SX Turbo, and I love it so far. It's front wheel drive, so it's not all wheel drive. Um, it is a Kia, which like, you know people dog on Kia a lot but I'm personally a fan of the Stinger if anybody watching this has a Stinger please let me come and drive it I really want to drive a Stinger especially if it's a GT2 I love that car uh, that is like a future car for me like I really want to get one in the future but um, this is kind of like the baby brother to the Stinger because this is a four-cylinder single turbo front-wheel drive whereas the Stinger is a V6 well, the GT2 is a V6 twin turbo rear or all wheel drive. So yeah, this is kind of like the baby to the Stinger and it does feel that way, but you can feel the turbo. It kicks in and you can definitely feel it. And especially here in the mountains, you know, with elevation, it definitely helps. So um, yeah, I came to one of my new favorite spots to just drive to and I'm gonna grab some some photos of the car um i'll get out and show you guys the exterior in a second it is windy outside so you know there might be some uh some wind noise and if there is i apologize but there's really nothing i can do about it so yeah let's um let's step out and uh take a look at what she looks like from the outside there's the wind. Okay, so here we are. It is the Optima. It is the SX Turbo GDI. So, yeah. Here it is. Um, I would like to upgrade the wheels if I can. They're not bad for stock wheels, but I'm not a huge fan of them. Um, so yeah, we'll, you know, that's something I'll potentially be looking into for the future. Uh, yeah, so here's the turbo badge. And then the front is by far my favorite part of the car. I think it looks good. 
especially you know for being a Kia and just for being what the car is I definitely think it looks good as you can see I've already driven the car a fair amount there's a lot of bugs on it <laughs> but uh, yeah this is it this is the new Leap Mobile for the foreseeable future I think it's a good looking car it's fun to drive uh, yeah I plan on enjoying it. So there it is. Here's the new car. Now I will try to get you guys some POV driving footage, just so you can sort of see what it's like, but uh, yeah, it's beautiful up here, so let's go. So we're just cruising along on this mountain-ish road, going 25, and it's, there's a little road noise, but it's, you know, it's not that bad, but you know, the car does fine. The steering is very precise. Um, granted, I'm coming from a 2003, so, you know, it's kind of hard to not beat that car. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. No, but you can just cruise along, and it's relatively quiet. Obviously, I have the music off right now because I'm not going to get copyright, but the Harman Kardon system is very nice. It has speakers all around the whole car. It has a stereo setting, so basically that means it's like surround sound, um, and that's obviously what I have it set to, and it's super nice. Uh, yeah, I love this drive. But we will be at a public road in a few minutes, and then I'll give it a little beans, and you can sort of see what it's like on camera even though it's you know you really have to drive a car or be in it to really experience it but whatever you know do what i can see i'll see you in a second okay so now we're driving on the actual road i'm in manual mode so i'll downshift a little bit and here we go can't really tell but it's you know it's somewhat peppy <laughs> it's uh, for a daily driver it's plenty so yeah but yeah we're just cruising along I'm gonna go home now because I got some stuff I gotta do but um, yeah I just figured I would show you guys the car do it you know get a little bit of driving footage show you the interior exterior I went and got some cool photos of it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I like it so far, so <laughs> we'll see how I like it when repair bills come, but you know, it's still somewhat under warranty, so we're Gucci. All right, well, I'll get a little bit more footage and then that'll be it. All right, so this will be sort of a perspective for you guys in terms of acceleration for the car so 20 miles an hour third gear that slow <laughs> and we're back home uh yeah so there's the new car <laughs> i am very happy with it and i'm looking forward to a lot of adventures with this new the new leap mobile <laughs> um yeah so there's the update video for you guys and there's the new car video for you guys 
so uh, yeah, we'll see when things start to go back to normal and car shows start happening again. Um, I don't know. I mean, until then, I guess that's it. And I will just catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.